In this module, we will discuss the important concepts in Redshift in terms of storage and accessibility, which are very much used to get more efficient tables, read writes, and deal with big data. They are the sort key and the dist key. Sort key. Sort key stores the data in a sorted manner in your tables. Let's see that. Now I have data ID with 1428799. Now when I write a simple select statement to write select ID from sample table where ID is less than 2. So my redshift will search for the first value and as it satisfies the condition it will return the value and it will go for a second one and it will return. In a similar way it will go iterating through all the data what I have in a table. So the number of iterations it took for my current table is 6. After 6 iterations it has given the result. What if, if my data is sorted in this way? So my cursor will look for the first value and it knows that it is less than or equal to 2 and it will return. Then my cursor will reach the second one and it will satisfy the condition and it will return the value. My cursor will go to the third one and 4 is obviously greater than 2 so the condition is not satisfied. In this case my cursor will come to know that the corresponding values are not satisfied by this condition so my scan will stop here. Whereas in my first case on unsorted data my cursor took 6 iterations whereas in this case it took only 3 cases 3 iterations. So in this way if you have a sorted table in your database then it will be easy for redshift to fetch the data and it will be faster. Now the challenge would be choosing the best sort key. If recent data is queried most frequently like you say the timestamp column where you often go on reading for incremental data. In such a case I would recommend to use timestamp column as a sort key. If you do frequent range filtering or equality filtering on one column then specify that column and choose that as the sort key. If you frequently join two tables suppose if you join table 1 and table 2 on employee id then joining these two tables on employee id would be faster when you use the employee id as sort key in both the tables. We'll just go further into this and understand how the join happens and how having sort key will help us. Apart from this, as I said, the data is stored in Redshift in blocks. So if I have data, say timestamp data, updated data in one column. So a typical Redshift block will store 1 MB of data. So if I have a table with millions of records, then my timestamp column is repeated in all the records and it will occupy more data and that data is further broken into blocks of 1 MB. So my cursor will read all the blocks and get the data as per my need. So if I sort the data and store in blocks, in this example you can see 5 blocks. So in this case if the data is sorted then my cursor will go only for that block and pick the data. See in this case. Now select star from table where invoice date is equal to 2012.06 and 11. There is a concept of zone map which will hold the minimum and maximum value inside a block. Now my query will look for that block 1 and it will understand from the zone map itself. My query won't scan the full data inside a block. It will look only for the minimum and maximum value and it will understand that my data is not in block 1. So that will be rejected. In a similar way, it will go for block 2, 3, 4 and 5. When the data is found in only in block 3, it will take data only from block 3, ignoring block 4 and 5. So this zone map will always update the 
minimum maximum values and other table statistics which helps the query to return results efficiently there are two types of sort keys one is a compound sort key and the other one is interleaved sort key compound sort key is like creating a sort key and two columns see here now i am creating a sort key and location and employee name now my data will be sorted on location and further sorted on employee name if i want to pick data say matthew from austin so i will write a condition where location is austin so my cursor will look only for the data where my location column is austin so cursor will never go to california or chicago it will look only for austin then it will check for employee name bean harry and matthew it will give matthew now if i am looking for peter in california it will my cursor will go to the fourth record and will look for california california and look for peter which is the third record once it finds peter then it will go to the fifth record as it is california sam then my cursor will come to know there is no any record with peter after fifth record and my cursor will further skip that so having compound sort keys in such case will helps a lot you have the same example here see here select star from employee where employee name equal to antony so it will in this case having compound sort key will never help because my cursor won't be knowing whether the second column is sorted or not definitely antony can be in chicago as well austin as well not only in california so my cursor will end up looking for all the employees in this table so in such a scenario it won't help so then what if if i have a need that in few queries i look for location whereas in few queries i'll filter for employee name so in such a scenario i'll end up writing two sort keys how can i do that that is where interleaved sort key comes into play you can create n number of sort values see here sort key interleaved sort key and location and employee name so location is sorted employee name is also further sorted but salary and rank will be in a isolated way but all these three objects are logically linked ideally four objects location employee name salary and rank they are linked with pointers and having sort key will definitely benefit i request you to go through the tutorial again or drop me in comments if you have any questions i am happy to help you further and this is very important while creating a database tables in redshift thank you